Hello friends. Do you guys remember a thing we did on YouTube 10 years ago? It was called the video diary. I guess many of you do. And to those who don't, the video diary is a 17 episode series on YouTube that documents the whole design and build process of our guitar model called the unicorn. In the hindsight, it doesn't sound like a big deal, I guess, but at its time, in the year 2008, it was quite special. But not many of those who have watched the series know how that project ever came to be in the first place. So let me tell you that story. I have graduated as a guitar maker artisan in 1995, and that's when I started my business as well. 13 years later, I wanted to educate myself a bit more and I did my master's degree in guitar making. Since I had already been in the business for quite a long time, I was told that the method of demonstrating my competence to the assessors of the degree was quite flexible. And I had at that time started thinking of designing a new guitar model, but I hadn't found the time for it. And from somewhere came the idea that, you know, to why to, to not connect these two things. I'll design a new guitar, and document that somehow, and this will be my paper for the master's degree competence demonstration. A simple little idea, right? Two birds with one stone. Well, all this was happening at a time when YouTube was already kind of big, but still new. Nothing is mainstream as it is today anyways. Uh, we had just posted a couple of primitive little videos from guitar shows there in the year um, 2008 and so Emma came up with the idea that you know what if we document the guitar design process on video and she will learn to edit them into a series of mini documentaries and so not only the assessors of my master's degree will see it but we can tell this story to all the guitar loving people out there another simple little idea three birds with one stone I loved it and we had no idea about the huge magnitude of this project we were committing ourselves to. And to cut a long story slightly shorter, one year and 17 YouTube episodes later, I showed up at the NAMM 2009 with the Unicorn number one, the guitar I had made on those videos. We're on the way to the LAX airport. Air France managed to um, lose the first unicorn on the way from Finland to the NAMM show and we're trying to locate it now. We're trying to find the missing unicorn. This guitar. And yes, my competence demonstration was approved and I got my master's degree in guitar making in the summer of 2009. But the fact is we got a lot more out of this project than that. We got a new guitar model that has continuously been one of our best selling guitars since its launch in 2009. Emma got herself a whole new skill shooting and editing videos like she's doing right now too behind the camera. Um, I got myself a new skill and courage to stand in front of the camera, which can be pretty frightening, but very useful in my work. And that video diary. The videos gathered quickly tens of thousands of devoted viewers. In those days, there was no such detailed content of making an electric guitar on YouTube. So not only our customers, but also a lot of guitar makers, both young professionals as well as hobby builders, found those videos very useful. And they still keep getting more views after 10 years. So thank you, YouTube, for existing and making this possible. Very kind of you. Okay, fast forwarding to year 2018. I realized at some point that we've sold nearly 200 unicorn guitars. So we thought, why not to make the unicorn number 200 a replica of the number one 
and take it with us to the NAM 2019. You know, unicorn number one presented at the NAM 2009 and then unicorn number 200 at the NAM 2019, the 10th anniversary. This is that guitar, the unicorn 200. There they are. So without further ado, let's hear how the new guitar sounds in Antti Parango's skillful hands. Go Antti. <laughs> Thank you. 